Just let me see your badge. Let's play a quick game. At what time is it appropriate that customers of the Long Island Railroad should be harassed and threatened? I have an identification. I want to file a complaint against you. So I'd like you to identify yourself. Number two, should they be harassed and threatened in front of a Long Island Railroad employee? I can go over there and just show them your picture and say why you're refusing to identify yourself or you can identify yourself. And three, should that Long Island Railroad employee then give a fist bump to the guy that was um, harassing and threatening people? I have an identification. I want to file a complaint against you. So I'd like you to identify yourself. Not only does he ignore me, he gives the guy who was harassing and threatening Long Island Railroad passengers a fist bump. I can go over there and just show them your picture and say why you're refusing to identify yourself or you can identify yourself. I'm a monthly customer on the Long Island Railroad. In other words, I buy a ticket every month and um, five days a week I have to commute in and out of Penn Station. So right now, Penn Station, um, it's a little crazy. So they're crazy guys. And this guy walks up to people and he's saying, including me, and says, you know, you're, you're white guys. You're all racist. You should give me money. Can't stop crazy. Don't expect you to stop crazy. But I look at an MTA employee, a Long Island Railroad employee, and I say, you should step in. And I said to him, literally, even if you don't step in personally, you can call a policeman, you know, like you're an employee. And this is Penn Station. They're police in Penn Station. They're all over everywhere. Not only does he ignore me, he gives the guy a fist bump. I have an identification. I want to file a complaint against you. So I'd like you to identify yourself. Not only does he ignore me, he gives the guy who was harassing and threatening Long Island Railroad passengers a fist bump. And so then I said, I'm going to file a complaint. And he tries not to give me his badge. I have an identification. I want to file a complaint against you. So I'd like you to identify yourself. I said, I'm going to file a complaint. And only when he realized that I was videotaping him and I said, I can just take your picture over to the, you know, there's an office over there and say, identify this guy. Why is he not identifying himself? Then he reluctantly pulled out his badge. I can go over there and just show them your picture and say why you're refusing to identify yourself or you can identify yourself. Reluctantly, he pulled out his badge. On the advice of my lawyer, I'm not going to release all the video, but I'm going to release this. Badge, I want you to identify yourself. Do you have a badge? Can I see a badge? Your identification. See my badge? Yes. You have an identification. I want to file a complaint against you, so I'd like you to identify yourself. Just let me see your badge. I can go over there and just show them your picture and say why you're refusing to identify yourself or you can identify yourself. You're going to file a complaint.